And just like anything else, uh, once I took off the, or rather pulled out the drive shaft, um, I noticed that somebody did some shoddy glass work here around the stern tube, uh, presumably to address a leak, I guess, I hope. I don't think there was a crack there, although I suppose that's possible, but highly unlikely. Also, this is where one of the attachments to the rudders are. You have this backing pad or backing block there that is really in bad shape, so I'm going to have to replace that also. Who knows what else I'll find. I have removed that uh, backing block from the bottom rudder uh, gudgeon. There it is. And I'm really glad I did because it, it looks even worse. I mean, it, it is even worse than it looks. See, the back is pretty much uh, split in several pieces. Still not sure what exactly this is made of. Um, I'm not sure. Maybe HDPE. I don't think it's G10, which is what I'm going to be using. And there we have it. I have epoxied in a piece of G10 board, or G10 fiberglass board. Uh, extremely um, hard. Took me a long time to drill that uh, one piece. It's like drilling stainless steel almost. Uh, so epoxy that in with thickened epoxy. Also worked on that area around the stern tube uh, that had that shoddy glass done to it. Uh, chipped off what I could, uh, laid down some epoxy and then some more glass and then more epoxy on top of that. And before I can uh, reassemble the drive shaft and put on the new um, uh, shaft seal. Uh, I need to, uh, of course, I also want to paint the bilge, but uh, I need to replace these engine mounts, which are uh, due for replacement, but this one in particular is basically just come apart. Um, these are <clears throat> Yanmar engine mounts, and basically they're great for vibration, but uh, this rubber part that you see there is basically just glued to the, the mount itself. Um, here's the bottom part. Actually, it's just coming apart in my hands here. So uh, I, I ordered a uh, different kind, um, which probably won't be as vibration dampening as these, but they will hold the engine in place in, in the case of a violent knockdown. Um, well, all, all knockdowns are violent, but I, I believe it'll be safer. I uh, seem to have run into an issue here with the positioning of this new engine mount. Um, so the original engine mount, or at least the one that was on here, um, was placed on an odd angle and I wondered why. Also the bolt pattern was different than the normal uh, 1GM10 engine mounts. Which I guess is not surprising because this is not the original engine, so someone probably had to cobble a way to put this engine in. Um, so the issue that I had here uh, in putting this, this different type of mount in is that uh, I needed to drill new holes here. And in order to make these straight like this, when I went to drill this hole here, you can see it there, that's actually the hole right under there. So there's no way for me to access the nut underneath and I might very well go through the hull. So I did come up with a workaround. I used a piece of leftover G10 that I had from that rudder uh, backing block over there. Um, drilled some holes, drilled some holes in the back with a spade bit, embedded the nuts. I'm going to epoxy these in. Then I'm going to actually just epoxy it to here uh, in the desired configuration or direction. 
so that the engine mounts do sit uh, longitudinally and I'll be able to move the engine sideways when I'm uh, aligning the shaft. So it'll be something like this. I anticipate that I'm going to have to do the same thing for the other aft engine mount, uh, which I'm also, I'm also replacing. I'm actually replacing all of them. Uh, the other, the two forward ones should be okay though, just by drilling holes. Um, and I do have some more G10 on order to make backing blocks for the cockpit drains. So that's it. Okay, so that went well. Uh, I epoxied this down with uh, West Systems Epoxy and some chopped fiberglass. Also did screw them down, uh, screw, it, screw it down with these two um, stainless steel screws. Of course, not before breaking one off here. Uh, but they're countersunk, so I believe this should work. And I will do this on the other side and uh, hope for the best. And voila, uh, for engine mounts are in place. And it turns out I did not have to put a shim here, a G10 board that I was planning to do like I did here. Um, the, the, the problem here was that these were on an angle. So the slot that's in the engine mount itself that allows you to move the engine from side to side to align the drive shaft um, uh, wasn't possible to do that with the way they were mounted because they're kind of both on an angle. This one, this this one, this way, this one, that way. This is the state of the Yanmar engine mounts that I removed. These are the two aft ones. As you can see, they basically crumbled. We're not holding. This is the other aft also crumbled. These are the two forward ones. Uh, starboard side is not as bad but still not not connected. This is detached and this is the port side forward one. The only one that's actually intact. So the engine was basically being held by one engine mount. Uh, 